Hi, welcome back Weld 2 family. My name is David Sedisa and today we're going to be showing you guys how to weld the T276 past alloy. Alright, so a lot of you might be wondering what is a hast alloy? It's a mixture of nickel, moly, chromium, iron, tungsten, cobalt, and manganese. So it kind of has a little bit of everything in it. You know, it's a really corrosion resistant material and I believe the mixture of all those metals kind of makes it a little tricky to weld. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and tack this up. The wire I'm using is uh, ERNIMO-10, Hastelloy B3 rod. I'll be putting uh, four penetrated tacks on this. I like to tack a little bit to the side. Helps me see what I'm doing a little bit inside. All right, so we got our four inch coupon here, standard wall, set up in the 6G position. Gonna go ahead and grind our, grind my tacks here. I'm gonna grind a little bit at the start. I'm gonna feather out long on my tack here. Visit weldlife.com to check out the medium cut pipeline, flip front adapter, and automatic variable shade clear view HD lens all used in this video. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, welding the bottom here. But first, I'm going to show you guys kind of the technique I'm going to use at the bottom. So I like to have my tungsten pointing kind of pretty much straight into the inside of the pipe. My filler wire is going to be on the high side here up on top. And I'll kind of bring my, my metal up down and move my wire with it. You know, I'm going to see the wall kind of uh, open up, kind of keyhole a little bit. And I'm just going to add filler wire as needed just to keep the keyhole from opening up. Uh, too much and then as I start kind of coming up right here towards my tack I'm going to try to slow down and try to weave a little bit more to create a little more heat so that way I can get a good tie in here on this tack. You now with this you don't want to make too large of movements real small movements with your tungsten just make sure you get the puddle to break down your bevel edges here we're getting close to our tack slow down just a little bit let it get a little bit hotter or you get a good tie-in. Go ahead and stop right there. Got that bottom side welded up over here. I'm gonna go ahead and do this other bottom quarter. Do the same thing, grind the tie-in tack up here, really long, just a little bit at the bottom. And for this quarter here, guys, it is a little more closed, so I am gonna use 332 here. Same amperage, 80 amps. Alright, we got the bottom all closed up. I'm gonna go ahead and run this upper quarter. It is a little tight as well, so I'm gonna be using 332 wire. I'm gonna double check my purge right here. Go ahead and warm up our start here. Make sure it gets nice and molten before you guys start adding any filler metal. Make sure you're breaking down the walls. Again, because it is a 6G position, you wanna try to Keep your wire up on the higher side, on the top side. Slow down a little bit as I'm coming into our tie-in here. Make sure we get a good tie-in. All right, so we got the top quarter here closed up. Gonna go ahead and go on our final quarter here. I've already turned down the purge a little bit so it doesn't blow me back out. And same thing, I'll be using 332 on this quarter as well, 80 amps. You know, with this, you don't want to make too large of movements, real small movements with your tungsten. Just make sure you get the puddle to 
Place down your bevel edges. Alright, so we got our root put in. Gonna go for our hot pass. I turned the machine up to 130 amps. I'm gonna go ahead and grind the outer surface a little bit, just kind of even it out and clean it up. All right, so go ahead and fire up here on our hot pass. Again, keeping my wire to the high side. Just, you know, constantly moving. I don't want to stay in one spot too long. I don't want to damage the root. Just keep walking, sweeping, making sure we're tying into our edges. And just keep working our way on up. I like to come a little bit past on this side, guys. Because that other end is my hard end because I'm right-handed and it be a little easier for me. Okay, so I'm going to grind our stop here. Make sure we don't have any contamination. I've already clipped the end of my wire. Got it nice and clean. Go ahead and run from the bottom up here. Just start warming up when I'm taking off, then start adding wire. Remember not to stop or stay in one place too long. You don't want to damage your root. And again guys, wire on the high side. Now gravity will pull your metal down. So, you know, and it, this has to really has a real kind of cloudy, kind of dirty puddle look to it. And underneath there you'll kind of see a shiny puddle. You really got to cut and try to like look through and try to look at that shiny puddle and not pay much attention to the to the surface there. Again, going to grind the stop. Then I'm also going to wire wheel this just to brush off any of the surface stuff. And again, this is a stainless steel wire wheel right here. All right, so we got our hot pass in. We're going to go ahead and do our fill pass. Still at 130 amps using 1 8 wire. Just working our way on up here. Remember guys, just kind of keep the wire up on top. I'm not adding too much filler metal, only as I see that I'm not getting to flush here. I will push a little bit of wire. And again, the puddle's very trashy. It looks very dirty, kind of cloudy. But right under there, you can kind of see the shiny puddle like you normally would. And that's kind of what you really got to concentrate on. That cloudy stuff kind of blocks your vision, but you know, use your best judgment on sometimes when you're stepping forward and, and just don't overweave, get a little impatient with it. All right, I'm gonna put the other fill pass here on this, on this side here. 130 amps still. Going from the bottom up. Working our way up. Fire on the high side still. Keeping, I'm keeping an eye right behind my tungsten, seeing how much I'm actually filling. Don't wanna put too much metal. And I'll kinda lose my edges for my cap. Alright, so we got our fill done. We're gonna go ahead and start on our cat pass. I turned our machine down to about 105 amps. And again guys, I'm just pushing wire up on top, kind of bringing it down. Trying not to undercut the top. Making sure I cover both bevel edges here. 
Just trying to keep nice and straight. I'm gonna go ahead and grind the stop and then uh, cap this other side. All right, and I'm doing the same thing on this side, guys, just uh, pushing wire on top, making sure I reach my bevel edges, just trying to keep the walk nice and straight, as consistent as I can. All right, I know that's easier said than done. You know, doing this in 6G. As you can tell, I'm in a pretty awkward position here, but I am right-handed and this is my hard side. I'm doing the same thing on this side guys, just uh, pushing wire on top, making sure I reach my bevel edges, just trying to keep the walk nice and straight, as consistent as I can. I know that's easier said than done, you know, doing this in 6G. There you have it. Showed you guys how to run Hasteloy C276 in the 6G position, 4 inch schedule 40. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you like the cool gear like I was using here, the medium cut pipe liner, flip adapter, and the new uh, Clearview HD lens, don't forget to visit wellife.com and pick you one up.